today on Be Something Wonderful, the most life-changing manifesting advice you'll ever receive. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning. I want to talk about this client that asked me, Tom, I received so much advice and so many ideas from others on how to manifest the life that I want, how to move to the reality that I want, and it, and it seems to make things worse. So he wanted to talk about what, what can I do to unwind from all this and get, and get back to the basics, get back to the simple idea that, that I create my own reality. So let me unpack this for you like we never have before. Remember, you create your own reality, there's no other rule. This is, comes from Seth, that, that entity that was channeled through Jane Roberts. In other words, there's no other law. It's the law of being. Why? Because you are reality. I am. Your awareness of being is reality. It's the only reality. Who and what you're aware of being is your entire experience of reality, ultimate reality, all that is. There is no other reality. God is all that is, is existence, is isness. That is reality. And when you say I am, you are invoking that all that isness that you are. Right? It's the law of being, the law of one. That's why in scripture it says, I am the Lord and there is no other. Besides me, there's no God. There is no one besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. The one forming light and creating darkness. Wow, this is from Isaiah. 45. Look at that. that. That right there gives you the secrets of reality creation. I am the law of being. I am the reality. And there is no other reality besides me. Right? There's no God, no reality, no I am besides me. Right? I am everything. I, I form the light and create the darkness. You create your entire life experience, whether they're circumstances that you prefer or don't prefer. Light or dark. Wow, that's powerful. And it goes on in Isaiah 45, causing well-being and, and, and creating calamity. That's perfect. I mean, do you see that? That means your first cause. You are source. You, you create your entire life experience. Whether they're circumstances that you are prefer or don't prefer, you create it all. I am the Lord who does all these. Wow, right there from Isaiah 45. I am the law, the law of being, the Lord. I am who does all these, who does all of it. I am that I am. I am who I am from Scripture as well. I am God and there is no other. In Isaiah 46, I am God and there is no one like me. Doubling down here in Isaiah 46, doubling down on this idea. You as I am awareness and a unique point of consciousness and center of the divine mind is God, and there is no other. We're going to make this case today. That's the magic and message of Christmas. Right? As Neville Goddard says, when man becomes conscious of being God. That's the message of Christmas. You, you being born again. Under, in other words, being aware of who you really are. The birth of God. The birth of I am. That's the, the message of Christmas. It's the birth of your awareness. That, that, that awareness of being, that you are God. Your first birth is the physical birth. That's God becoming, that's God taking on the human form. The second birth is you realizing that you're God, that you are that awareness of being. Returning to God, right? Returning to spirit. So no technique, no process, no book, no meditation, no coach, no guru, no YouTube channel, no healing work, nothing in no one can save you from unwanted conditions appearing in your life, but you, but your awareness of being, you as I am. You are your own savior. That I am awareness is your savior, right? And this is what Acts 4.12 says, and there is salvation in no one else. No one else, for there is no other name, I am, under heaven, that has been given among men by which we must be saved. Wow! 
Hear that. There's no other salvation. There's nothing else but I am. That's your Savior. There's no other name. It's very clear here. Given among men by which we must be saved. That name is I am. God said it. This is my name forever and ever. I am that I am. This is my name forever. It's to be aware. It's your true nature as awareness of being. That's powerful. Right? Whenever, you're not a, whenever you are not aware of yourself, others, and the world, as you would like them to be, whenever you're not, versus how things appear to be, right? you, you are mocking God, you are sinning, but God will not be mocked. So whenever you're not seeing yourself, others of the world, now or then, right? Present, past, present, or future, doesn't matter, it's all happening now. Then, then you are mocking God. Right? Instead, of, instead of seeing things as they appear to be, see them how you would like them to be. Otherwise, you're mocking God and you're sinning. That's what sin means. But God will not be mocked. That's what Scripture says. And you experience what and who you're aware of being. That's what God will not be mocked means. Like A Course in Miracles says, it's not a warning but reassurance that, that who and what you're, you're aware of being will be your entire life experience. You get to choose, right? But when you're not aware of yourself, others in the world as you would like it to be, that's what you're gonna see, right? So you are, so, but God will not be mocked. But even bigger than that, you are continually forgiven, right? That might be sin, not focusing on seeing the world, others and yourself as the gods that you are, right, in the ideal. But even bigger than that, you're continually forgiven from that sin. That's the spirit of Jesus, the continual forgiveness of sin that Neville Goddard talks about. You're continually forgiven because you're new in every moment. You have a clean slate to create yourself new, to create that con your self-concept new, to see yourself, others, and the world new again in every moment. That's continual forgiveness of sin. Every moment and now is a clean slate a new you, an opportunity to identify with your ideal. That's why in Joel 3.10 it says, let the weak say I'm strong. You get to say, you get in this moment to clear who and what you are, how you want to see yourself, others in the world. That's powerful. Christmas is about your recognition and awareness as the one and only source and creator of your reality. That's what Christmas is. It's your birth as God, as I am. It's the birth of Jesus, that I am awareness, right? You are I am awareness. This is what Neville Goddard says. There are two births. One when God assumes your human form, and the other when you assume the divine form of God as God. Wow! You recognizing a birth from below and a birth from above. You recognizing your I am awareness. That's what it means to be born again. Right? The first birth is from below, the, while the second birth, called Christmas, is from above. Neville got it. Do you see it? That's the celebration. Christmas is about the birth of you, the birth of your awareness as God. You be knowing who you really are. That's powerful. That's powerful. So Christmas is the celebration of you as I am awareness, being conscious and aware of being all that is, or God. In John 16, 28, it says, I come forth from the Father, have come into the world. And again, I leave the world and go to the Father. Perfect description, depiction of the two births. I come from the Father, the first birth, right? And I have come into the world. That's the first birth. That's the physical birth. That's God taking on human form. And again, I leave the world and go to the Father. That's the second birth, the birth from above. You as I am awareness, understanding that you were never separate from the Father, right? Christmas is the birth of Christ consciousness within you, right? God assuming your human form is the first birth from below. Then assuming the divine form as God is the second birth from above. That is you becoming conscious and aware of being I am awareness. Creating the life you want by deciding what you're going to be aware of, by choosing Right? By choosing what you're going to be conscious of being. Your self-concept and your view of the world. It's the answer to the divine paradox. I and the Father are one and my Father is greater than I. It's not either or. It's I and the Father are one and the Father is greater than I. 
I come from the Father, right? Have that physical birth. It's God taking on human form. And then you taking on that divine form. He who has seen me has seen the Father. Jesus says this in John 14, 9. If you've seen me, I am. You've seen the Father. Christmas marks the birth of man as God, not the birth of God as man. Neville got it. Do you see it? Christmas marks the birth of man as God, not the birth of God as man. It's, the, it's you knowing who you are now. It's you deciding it. So that's the, meta, that's the advice. That's life-changing. That's life-changing. That's the answer to the divine paradox in the Immaculate Conception. That it's that invisible state of consciousness, that awareness that you are, that creates it all. That's, that's why. Not, it's nothing from out there. There's no out there. It's Immaculate Conception. You create it from within. Right? Your invisible awareness of being. Who and what you are conscious of being creates your world in your entire life experience. That really is the most important life-changing, manifesting advice you'll ever receive. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen and for being part of our membership channel. We have a, a video that's coming out on the membership channel, um, uh, I think this coming week or over the weekend. And then we have a live stream scheduled for December 30th, Saturday at 9 a.m. in the morning, right here. We're going to come to you live from the studios of Be Something Wonderful with our ninth live stream to be broadcast exclusively on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. If you've joined, thank you for joining. If you haven't, check out the link below. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen with Be Something Wonderful here in the studios of Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.